Hi everyone! Smuggling illegal goods across the border is quite a risky endeavour, which, however, could make the perpetrators very rich. Smugglers come up with all kinds of tricks to fool the customs officers, and sometimes these tricks might seem insane, sometimes brilliant, and sometimes outright ridiculous, but they all are definitely worth seeing. Today, we will tell you about the most ingenious ideas that the smugglers have come up with to get their illegal haul across the border. Let's get it on. Cigarettes in tree trunks Sometimes you just don't expect to find something inside certain things. It's easy to suspect someone hiding illegal stuff inside the mobile phone, in their clothes, in a box of chocolates, or in a loaf of bread, but definitely not in tree trunks, because these huge raw pieces of wood won't be of any use to smugglers. It makes sense, but sometimes smugglers might surprise you with their ingenuity. During the customs check, the officers found 25,000 packets of cigarettes hidden inside 27 tons of timber, with 50 five hollowed out tree trunks. The cigarettes were smuggled together with legal goods by train, and we can't even imagine how the officers managed to uncover this haul in this huge amount of wood. The way the smugglers hid the cigarettes is very clever too. They hollowed out each trunk and then replaced the ends to cover up the crime. Despite their resourcefulness and ingenuity, their unusual tobacco packed trunks still didn't make it past the border. Gold in a shirt. Sometimes the smugglers come up with such incredible tricks, one has to wonder how the customs officers could uncover their fraud. This man was trying to smuggle gold across the border by stitching the small gold pellets into his shirt. He and his accomplices were detained in Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport, the largest and most prominent international airport in Bangladesh. The other smuggler was also hiding gold in his shirt. He also put some in his shoes. In total, the customs officers confiscated two and a half kilograms of pure gold from the smugglers. We believe this gold is worth a lot of money. Just take a look at those poor smugglers. Tough luck to say the least. A model family. When you look at this family with three kids, you could never think that these people could be smugglers. They have a nice car, they look decent, they're definitely above all suspicion. But it's not so easy to fool the customs officers, because even a few scratches on the car might look suspicious enough to justify a detailed examination. Of course, some may think that the officers are a bit overzealous, but this time they turned out to be right. Yes, they had to literally break the car to pieces to prove it, and it'd be very awkward if they didn't find anything. But they did, and their hunch was right. Turned out this seemingly ordinary family was smuggling packets of cash. Yeah, these are hundreds. I know I can't buy for a guide already. One, six, 26 packages. Drone smugglers. Technology is evolving, and smugglers are trying to keep up, using modern gadgets for their fraudulent actions. For example, prison service found it really challenging to stop drones from smuggling all kinds of stuff, weapons, mobile phones, and tools into the prison. Drones are easy to operate and relatively cheap. It's hard to catch them too, because unlike humans, they can just fly away at any time. It's also hard to identify the person controlling the drone. For example, the first person in the UK to be jailed for this offense was detained only in 2016. To deal with this airborne smuggling, special anti drone units were created in England and Wales. Also, there are now special anti-drone fences, jammers that are installed around the entire prison perimeter. The system creates a shield around the prison, which deflects the drones and disrupts the connection between the drone and the operator at an altitude of up to 600 meters. Reptiles on the body there is a strong demand for exotic pets in any country of the world. People smuggle them from all kinds of places, while the customs officers are trying to prevent that. Once, the Norwegian officers detained a man who was attempting to smuggle 14 pythons and 10 geckos across the border. The pythons were rolled up in socks and taped to his torso. The geckos were also in little boxes strapped to his legs. Smugglers are very resourceful people after all. The man was searched after officers spotted a tarantula 
tarantula scurrying around in one of his bags. Perhaps this spider was part of the illegal cargo, hidden in a very intimate part of the body. Or maybe he was like a niffler, who was always trying to escape at the worst possible time. Whatever the case, the smuggler was arrested, and the animals were handed over to the specialists. The Shawshank Redemption this story isn't exactly about smuggling, because these people weren't trying to cross the border, but it's so amazing that we just simply have to tell it. The police of Chetumal City in Mexico detained Maria del Mar Arjona for trying to sneak her lover Juan Ramirez Tijarina out of jail in a suitcase. It happened in 2011, but it's still one of the most ridiculous jailbreak attempts in modern history. In 2007, Ramirez was sentenced to 20 years in prison for illegal weapons possession, but his girlfriend had little patience to wait so long, and so she found a good use for a suitcase. However, vigilant security officers saw through her plan. They noticed an unusual shape of the suitcase, then checked it and discovered a convict squashed inside. The woman gave herself away by acting nervously. The suitcase itself seemed to be too large as well. When the prison guards opened the bag, they found inmate Juan Ramirez Tijarina curled up inside in the fetal position. The guards made a photo, and it seems like the unlucky fugitive was really upset. Maria herself was then arrested and is now awaiting charges, and Ramirez went back to jail. A man inside a car seat. Another mind-blowing story happened in 2001 at the border between the US and Mexico. A 42-year-old Mexican Enrique Aguilar Canchola attempted to illegally enter the US by disguising himself as a car seat. A brilliant idea. Just kidding, never try something like that. But we have to give it to Enrique. He was really creative about this. One of the passenger seats inside the vehicle was hollowed out, and then Enrique installed a special frame to to hide inside it. The seat didn't look suspicious at all. Are you bringing anything back into the United States, sir? Yeah. Well, it did grunt when someone tried to sit on it. We have a phone noise. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. How you doing? We can only admire his dedication, because he probably had to remain still in an uncomfortable position for many hours, with little access to air as well. Unfortunately, all his efforts were in vain, because Canchola was stopped at San Isidro, a Californian border crossing which at the time was one of the busiest border crossings. 94 iPhones a man has been arrested at the Chinese border for attempting to enter China with 94 iPhones strapped to his body. The customs officers must have been pretty surprised to see so many phones. The smuggler probably wanted to sell a range of Apple products in China, including the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, which at the time were the latest models. The police noticed this particular smuggler due to weird walking posture, joint stiffness, and muscle tension, an obvious result of covering your entire body in touchscreens. The vigilant officers decided to check his hand luggage too, but nothing suspicious was in there. But when he passed through the metal detector, it was clear he had something to hide. As soon as he took off his clothes, the officers saw the phone strapped to his body, to his thighs, his chest, and his stomach. According to the customs officers, smuggling is common for stolen phones. The phones strapped to the body sometimes resemble body armor, and this way of smuggling is actually called a body armor. Hummingbirds in Pants no, it's not the name of a sitcom from the early 2000s. Yes, it also looks as ridiculous as it sounds, but it's still a real story. Ah. <clears throat> Jim? which happened in Rochambeau Airport in Cayenne, French Guiana. This man was probably inspired by the smuggler who strapped boxes with lizards to his legs. He decided to take it one step further, though, and smuggle more than a dozen live hummingbirds in his pants. The authorities noticed this man acting suspiciously, and he was detained by French customs officers. We couldn't figure out what was so suspicious about his behavior, so you have to imagine yourself how a man with live birds in his underwear would act. During the inspection, the officers decided discovered that the birds were put in special pouches sewn into the inside of the man's underwear. The birds were individually wrapped in cloth and taped up to prevent them from escaping. The man reportedly has a previous conviction for trying to smuggle the tiny animals across the border. A truckload of ammo in Brownsville, Texas, stolen cars are often used to smuggle illegal goods across the border. In order to uncover them, special units are thoroughly inspecting these soon-to-be exported vehicles. One of the cars had signs of tampering, though. The tailgate was welded shut, which seemed rather odd. 
who welds the gates anyway. In addition to that, the officers spotted several screws that were inconsistent with the bedliner. It was an old model, but when it comes to smuggling, the age of the model doesn't matter. Anything goes for smuggling drugs, weapons, and money. To make sure that the car is used for smuggling, the officers use specially trained dogs, and this time they found several firearms and many rounds of ammunition in the false bottom of the pickup. A good catch. 